Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about why all of this stuff makes sense. Why do I keep telling people to join my two-hour masterclass? Why do I keep telling people to actually show up for the free trainings in my free Facebook group? Why do I insist with my clients that they go back into various exercises and redo them? And why is one of my basic principles with all of the exercises that I offer my clients that they record something, use the exercise, go back, review it, and then address the reviewing with some of their own critique and commentary so that they can improve. It has everything to do with proper practice. Now, what is proper practice? Well, proper practice is doing something on repeat with the correct insights so that you can see what needs to get done to improve that thing. <clears throat> there's repetition. And then there's proper practice. Repetition can be proper practice. But proper practice always beats most re repetition because of this. If, in fact, you don't know what it is you're looking at when you repeat something, you will simply ingrain bad habits, 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 good or bad. Repetition doesn't make uh, progress. It ingrains that process. So, one, if you do review things, you may run the risk of doing it properly. Then again, if you don't review things and you say, oh, I just need to do it once, your understanding of it is only scratching the surface. Now, why do I claim, actually, why do I stand upon the principle that video facilitates extremely clear understanding of what you need to get to and how you need to get there. We don't think the way we read or write, and we don't write the way we actually speak. So one of the, let's just take a look at a very, very basic, simple, easy to imagine understanding that happens on a regular basis. We watch Netflix, streaming things, video, film, TV, whatever. We watch moving pictures, moving images of, you know, theatricality, acting, theater, comedy, TV, whatever. These people start by reading something by themselves in order to then maybe audition for a part, or if they already have the part, they see what the writing is. Then they go into a room and they actually all interact together so that they can start to develop a flow. Speaking it out loud fundamentally changes everything that was written down. And the writers or writer of that work is sitting there in that rehearsal process making changes. Then from the table read with everybody involved, they start to stand up and move around and block things. Blocking is the positions. Where do you need to be? Where do you need to be in what direction you need to be facing at any particular time? That's blocking. So it's blocked out. So that people understand the proper timing, how to get various places. 
And that also further informs the way they deliver their stuff. Woo! After which they then have full rehearsals because it needs to gradually get all of that integrated into the flow. And then they have live performance. Now, this thing right here, this is the equivalent of my live performance, and this is a structured improvisation. I knew what I was going to say in the basic issues that I wanted to talk about before I began this. I do what I call live editing. I allow myself to hear. I allow myself to enjoy the process, to make jokes like this. Woohoo! You know, those, those sorts of things. And I have prepared this, but I have done so by practicing an enormous amount of this over and over again. Time and again, I practice it. And this allows me to understand how it is I want to do this. You also deserve to get familiar with your particular way. And the only way to do it is through practice. Now, you may be saying, but Paul, I only have, you know, so much time in my day and I'm really busy. Well, that's why I created the five minute CEO program, this five minutes a day thing. You can do five minutes a day. There are five minutes that you can carve out for yourself in a day. You can take that little teeny chunk. You can. I know you can. If you want it bad enough. The whole idea here is to understand that in a relatively short amount of time, you can take daily incremental understandings and use the practice and integrate practice concepts into your regimen so that you can build what you want to build. So this two-hour masterclass, which I will continue to offer on, you know, once a month, hopefully, that's also practice. You show up. You be there. You actually inform yourself further by being there regularly. And that allows you to be able to be within your practice. On the Friday sessions or whatever live situations, show up. Now, I know I'm telling you to show up to all sorts of different things. You can't be at everything. You have a life. The whole idea is that you make an active decision to actually be there. And I'll end with this. This is a video. I record and sometimes send people, you know, if they can't make a master class, I send them stuff. Sometimes I determine that it's okay. In my experience, and I know you understand this, when you send someone a recording afterwards, they might get to it. They probably won't, and it won't be anywhere near as effective. So I'm sending you this to let you know that you, just like almost everybody else out there, may eventually get to various replay situations, but there's nothing, nothing that is as effective as showing up on time to the live event and actually being part of the live event. That's why my, you know, my live master classes, that's why I don't make them available on replay because I don't find that it actually serves people the value that is my intention. And I'm giving of myself a lot in order to make sure that people get what they can when they show up. So my gift to people is all of the energy, focus, concentration, and value based on experience, research, knowledge, and 
inquiry that I use and I have in order to make sure that everyone who there who shows up there gains all that they deserve. That's also part of the discipline and the practice. Okay, I'll end this here. I wish you well. Speak to you soon.